All right. So basically, now we have the part where it's Kyrie saying, again, like we said, we don't want the season. But then you have <laughs> Perkins going at him the whole time saying Kyrie's not a distraction. And this this has been my issue. It's a deeper issue where I have pans, man's going out at Kyrie basically because of, you know, already know his association to LeBron and all that type of stuff. But that's a different, that's a different, that's a different issue. But KD defended Kyrie because Perkins was going ham at Kyrie and then he called him a sellout. He wrote on the Instagram, said he's a sellout, right? So then based off that, I'll get in, I'm going to get your guys' opinions on what you think if Katie's in the wrong or you think Perkins is in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about that before we go into that. Let me hear what Perkins' response is to Katie because he talked about this on ESPN. So let's listen to that real quick. Well, you were going to Kyrie Irving as a distraction after you, a sellout. KD, my brother, just because I don't agree with what Kyrie got going on, don't mean I'm not fighting the same fight that you all are, are fighting. I am fighting for African Americans. I've been half, and that don't make you a sellout. That don't make me a sellout because I have a different opinion or disagree with someone else that's going about it another way. I actually applaud anybody that's fighting a fight right now in America. So that's first thing first. Second of all, listen to this. You don't know what I'm going through right now in my personal life fighting a fight. I live in a million dollar community. I'm fighting a fight every day in my own community. I'm the only African American family that live in this community. And my wife and I have to fight a fight with our home association and neighbors every day through email. So, so much that we so we're not even comfortable <laughs> with having our kids go outside without supervision. You don't know what I'm going through for us fighting a fight when I have to drive my oldest son to middle school to go to his workout. And I pull up, and there's 70 kids out there, there we go. and it's only we got two. The point, we got the point. All right, so basically, yo, you're this guy's know. talking nonsense, man. Because <laughs> first of all, how do you say? I don't know if you guys heard him say, right? Yeah. But the man literally said that he applauds, that he applauds, which means that he claps, <laughs> <laughs> he celebrates. Okay, he celebrates anybody. A universal term. <laughs> Anybody who stands up for these kinds of issues. Sir, where is the applause for Kyrie? Let him know. Is Kyrie not trying to fight this fight that you're saying that you applaud? Gotta hire so then up. how are you applauding by saying that he's becoming a distraction? You're discouraging. It's crazy. You're discouraging somebody who's trying to stand up for black people. So why would you think somebody wouldn't call you a, a sellout? <laughs> it makes no sense. It makes no sense. You actually said he. Oh, he's only not going because the next said he can't play. Like the man like, went at, and and this and, this and this is the part where I want to give context to that because I see the media's name context. Let him know the media what they've labeled out labeled out here for Kyrie is that he came to this resolution. Once he realized he wasn't allowed to come to Orlando. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard mm -hmm. that. So for that, what people are not realizing is that he asked why he's not. And they gave them a confirmation. They said he's too much of a risk to get the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So if I am too much of a risk, who's not playing, why the hell would my teammates that are playing not be a risk as well? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make no sense. That's Which is they're not they're not playing that narrative as well because mm. I would I would be off the rip just say yo no man should play mm. if you could tell me me being a bystander standing there I'm a risk but then my teammates that are out there sweating contacting next men are not a risk this does not add up Facts. I think and I would not let my boys go out there to battle that doesn't make no sense Facts. I think listening to Perkins too, like PR <laughs> 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 someone told him give that sob story you already yeah, know. Yeah, of I'm course. I'm a black man in a gated community. Yeah. People, my kid goes to yeah. clearly probably a private school. Yeah, the man said he had like there were 700 kids and there's only two black kids there. What do you think? You're in a yeah, you st <laughs> you're not in your home community. So, you still made it. You made it. You're there. So <laughs> like, sounds economic to me. So how are you even mad at Kyrie? Yeah. Uh -huh. He's literally contradicting himself in his response. Right. 
And this and the thing is, <laughs> what I've noticed is, um, and no disrespect to Kyrie, I'm not trying to say this to be insulting, right? Mm. But Kyrie has become low hanging fruit for the media. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's somebody who, regardless what negative thing you have to say about him, ever since he said that he didn't want to play with LeBron, mm-hmm. and then secondly, ever since he said that the earth was flat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> these two things, right? <laughs> these two things, since these two things, I have not heard positive. anybody say any positive thing about mm. Kyrie, especially in comparison to how much negative things they have to say about mm. Kyrie. So now when Kyrie is the one who's leading a charge, just because somebody has a difference in opinion than you, a difference in approach than you, doesn't mean that you should completely put them down by saying that they're being a distraction. Right. Right. So what Perkins is doing is wrong. That's wrong. You yeah. don't do that to people. The man is trying to stand up for something that he believes in. As a man, when you see somebody trying to make a stand, for something that they believe in, especially when you see the injustice, even if what they're doing doesn't make sense to you. The simple fact that they're trying to make a stand for something that's right, that's just. Why would you hate on him for that? No sense. Makes no sense. <laughs> that's him. That's him. It but they're just painting him bad. We already know. They paint all the, look at the case they paint bad. Kawhi, they paint bad with his load management. The nigga been load managing. Now you paint him bad. Why? He didn't go with LeBron, went to LA, and went to the other guy, right? Now load management is bad. He barely plays. Look at KD, automatic threat to LeBron this whole time. They paint him bad. Now look at Kyrie. He left the first man to say, I don't want to play with you, LeBron. I don't like it here. You just go for stats. They paint him back. And it's forever. Not one of those three guys anymore is a positive thing. And what did what did he expose Perkins? This is another part that Skip Bayless showed that he exposed. He exposed that he at the end of the day, what did he do? He showed his home, his pictures from playing AU with with um with LeBron. Yeah. I'm I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron don't have you on the payroll. So now you actually just gave us light. You gave us and you enlighten us to why yeah. you go ham on these specific guys. The fact that Kyrie, you didn't, did he go have Bradley? Bradley's been doing the same thing. Did he say Bradley? Did he mention Bradley? I didn't see him mention Pat Bev. I didn't see him mention Lil Will. But why are you saying Kyrie's a distraction? He's this. He is he the only one lead? It's literally Kyrie, Pat, uh, and, and, and Bradley. CP3's there. Melo's there. I didn't hear him say one person, one of those guys' name. They're all part of the charge. If anything, you should be getting at LeBron. Why are you, your banana boat brothers on Kyrie's side and you're not? Not only that, his own teammate, Dwight. Exactly. Howard. Your own Dwight teammate, Howard. Dwight. Dwight, exactly. Your no, but teammate. this is the difference, right? It's easy for, right? What I see with Perkins is he's trying mm-hmm. to build up his brand. Yeah. He's trying to yep. build up his name, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he goes on all the sports talk shows, right? He goes on first take. He goes on the jump. He goes on undisputed. Yeah. Right? And he formulates relationships. With the people who are successful, so that now when he does something like this, people don't want to be overly critical of somebody that they've sat next to, that yeah, they got yeah. to know, facts, facts, that they facts. got buddy buddy with, right? Facts, facts. So they're not gonna be as critical because obviously they're biased, right? Mm. The same way I'm gonna be real with you. If Perkins was my boy, I would not be talking the same way right now, right? Which is <laughs> hypocritical, but it's just a fact, right? Yeah. If somebody's your friend, obviously, especially in public. You're not going to speak down on them, right? right? So as what you're saying, not only is he trying to piggyback off of LeBron because LeBron is uh, arguably the biggest superstar in the NBA. As a matter of fact, he is the biggest superstar in the NBA. If you think about, if you think about like just being, nobody knows, not even close. He is the biggest superstar in the NBA. Who Perkins so happened to be friends with. So it's easy for him to piggyback off of that and go against anybody who's against LeBron. Yeah. Right. Especially Kyrie, because it doesn't get any easier. You won't, you won't have any more support <laughs> than saying something against Kyrie. Kyrie. Right? The LeBron fans is reckless. You're but Kyrie, like, what did Kyrie do? This is what I can't stand. <laughs> like, what did he do? Not that was so not bad. Thing. All the man not said thing. is, "Yo, I want to do this on my own." Did not Kobe do that? Right. He said, "I want to do this on my own. I want to prove myself." I want to prove to Master people that Minecraft. I can prove myself. Mm-hmm. And now you're you're saying that whenever he goes on a team, the team gets no scared. leadership, no leadership, no leadership. Right? That's all no they say. No leadership, whatever. Blah blah blah. Why now, do they bring that up? When I when I see the stuff, when I hear the stuff that they say, like that he does, 
I wouldn't do it that way, right? Like, I wouldn't yeah. go weeks without talking to people. And then all of a sudden, mm. next week, I want to say, yo, what up? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you saw me yesterday. <laughs> there was no, no, yo, what up? Like, you that's, know what I mean? No. But you, how could you even right? believe that's media, too? You don't but at even the same know. time, every, right, I get your point. Every, every man is, every man is died. different. Yeah. Grandpa died too. Every man is yeah. different. Yeah. And at the end of the day, how can you say that this man is not a winner? <laughs> how can you say <laughs> like this man. man is... Did we not see? They, they don't see. LeBron averaged 29. Kyrie averaged 27. What are we talking Bro, about? And got the game winners. Like, what? Dog, like, you saw that shot, fam? The game winners of all game Buckets. Winners. In the finals? Game Buckets. Seven. On Clay, on Kerr, on everybody. All game. moments are not created alike. Okay? <laughs> Steph has been my favorite player from since mm-hmm. I don't even know how long until um, Kawhi Le- um, replaced him. <laughs> right? <laughs> but I have to say, Steph, when the lights are the brightest... When we need you the most. <laughs> he is the slightest. Come on now. You already know. Tell him. You know what? I can't do this because you're my guy. <laughs> Steph is my guy. I'm not going to do this, man. Steph is my guy, man. He went to his That's side. my guy, man. I can't he went in his so, head. So that's, per- so that's perfect segue. So, okay. Per- perfect. So, 